Hello, I'm Arnold Cohen, former chairman of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Albert Einstein Medical Center and professor of OBGYN at Jefferson Medical College. I'm here to talk about the exchanges and how it impacts the practices of OBGYNs. As everybody knows, knows, the exchanges will now be available to people who previously did not have insurance, and it's important for the OBGYN to realize that these plans may be different or the population may be different than those people you've taken care of before. These are patients now who have limited means and are up to the 400th percentile of the federal poverty limits. And these people don't have a lot of expendable cash. Despite that, though, many of the plans in the exchanges have high deductibles, co-pays that may be much greater than what they previously had been for these patients, co-insurances that OBGYNs will now have to collect, and in some cases, limited networks. Each one of these things adversely affects the practices of the OBGYN and how they will be able to get paid for services that they render. I'll take them one at a time. The high deductible plans means that many times families will have over $10,000 worth of deductible before the plan kicks in. This means that the OBGYN may be having to collect money from the patients early in the year or throughout the year because the insurance company will not be paying them until this deductible is met. This means that the patient will come in, receive services, you will bill the insurance company, and then you'll get a note from the insurance company stating that the patient hasn't met their deductible, and now it will be your responsibility to collect that money directly from the patient. Very different than what we're used to in most of the plans that we deal with at this time. The other thing that's going to happen is high deductibles, uh, high co, co I'm sorry, high copays. These high copays up to $75 for specialist office visits. And as you know, OBGYNs are not considered primary care in the ACA means that patients, before they come to your office, you should be collecting the $75 up front before you render services. If you don't collect it up front, you're probably not going to collect those copays. The other is coinsurance. That means if the patient has a procedure in your office, like an ultrasound, an endometrial biopsy, colposcopy, hysteroscopy, it'll be your responsibility to bill the insurance and then you'll get a note saying the patient may be responsible for up to 30 or 50 percent of the reimbursement for that particular procedure. Once again, it will be up to you to collect that and have systems in your office that will be able to collect the money after you've provided the services. The fourth thing that you have to realize is that many of the exchanges have limited networks or are reducing the reimbursement even though the insurance company is the same, but reduced reimbursement for the exchange products. So something that you may have gotten $100 for will now be reimbursed $60 or $70 for the same service from those marketplace products. This means that your reimbursement is going to be less and that your revenue is going to be decreased from caring for the exchange patient. All in all, this means that every office needs to develop a system to understand what the product is that the patient has, what her copay is going to be that should be collected before she sees you, and then you need to make sure that you have systems in place to let the patient know that she's going to have a significant balance due and that she's responsible for paying that after you provide the services. All in all, your collection rate may go down and your accounts receivable may go up if you see many of the patients who previously didn't have insurance or had insurances that had minimal copay or co-insurance. 
this will have significant impact on your practice. And unless you prepare for this, your practice could be adversely affected and your revenue decreased. Thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful.